Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can insert a Venn diagram in Google Docs. Now, just to be clear, Google Docs doesn't come with a native Venn diagram option. We have to create that from scratch. But don't worry, the process is simple and you can follow this guide in under 5 minutes and you will get a perfect Venn diagram for your document. So, let's get into it. First, you must place the cursor where you want to insert a Venn diagram later. Let's say I'm going to put the cursor right here. Right, maybe here. Right, I think that's perfect. Now, the fan diagram will be inserted in this area. The next thing you need to do is go to the insert menu and then click drawing, click new. So basically, this is a Google Docs feature that allows us to draw almost anything, including a fan diagram. To create a fan diagram, you must select shapes and then select circle right here. And after that, you have to draw the circle. I recommend to press and hold the shift key on your keyboard to make sure that the circle is perfectly even. It's not going to turn into oval. So let's draw one for our Venn diagram. Right? Okay, this is pretty good. Now, the next thing to do is to change the color. So you have to click on this one. But before that, I think it's important to remove the border here because we won't need it. Well, you can actually use the border, but in this example, I think I'm going to remove it. So I'm going to click this menu first, and then I'm going to select transparent. Now the circle has no border. Next, you can change the color to whatever color you want, but I highly recommend to select custom because we need to make sure that the circle is at least somewhat transparent so click add a custom color for this circle it's going to be blue maybe i'm going to select this blue and you can adjust the transparency level using this slider and then click ok now the circle is somewhat transparent the next thing to do you need to copy this circle we need another circle to complete the diagram so right click on it and then click copy and then right click anywhere and click paste now we have the same circle but of course we need to change the color so go to the color option again and then add a custom color i'm going to choose red for this circle and of course you have to make sure it is transparent and then click ok now we have this pen diagram available that you can insert to your document but of course it's not complete without a label so let's add some text i'm going to put some text in here this is going to be blue and to simplify the process i'm gonna just copy and paste this text box this is going to be i think red and let's paste another one this is going to be purple in the middle And there you go. Now you have successfully created the fan diagram. It's time to insert it into the document. Click save and close. Right now you have successfully created a fan diagram for your document. And in case you want to modify the fan diagram again, you can click on the diagram and then click edit. And it will bring you this drawing menu that allows you to modify the fan diagram, whether you want to add a new circle or changing the color or changing the label. There are plenty of options available. So basically, this is a very useful tool that lets us create a fan diagram. And also, don't forget about text wrapping. If you want to make sure the text and the diagram is not messing another, you might want to select this option or maybe this option. It's totally up to you. Just make sure the fan diagram is not overlapping other content. So that's basically it. I hope you find this video helpful and I'll see you on the next video.